love the ISUPK. Stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. Brother, it's my school of universal practical knowledge. Started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commander General Yohana. And since 1969, we've been teaching that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the real Jews according to the Bible. And as thus said the Lord. And today we're going to get into what sisters today say the difference between the God of the Bible and what you say the personal relationship with God. And we're going to see the difference between the two. Yep. And before I start off, we're going to show the, hip the, I'm gonna say the hypocrisy of the Bible of, of, of how you say, not my God, your personal relationship. And when you tap into the Bible, you're going to see the total difference of it. And with that, I'm going to start off. So like, baby, one time. Let me get, I'm going to start off with a scripture. Let me get uh, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 13. We're going to show you something because if we let the sisters take control of the household, everything will fail, man. You sisters think you know it all. And the reason why the woman is on top in America today is because of how, it's, it's how American society is ran. The so-called oppressor puts the woman on top of the household, and this is why the blacks and the Spanish and Native American Indian family is at the bottom today. If you look at the so-called Caucasian family, they women always is above their man. They, they women tell a man what to do. And look at how they household is, look how it failed tremendously. That it, the, the, the order of the earth is out of order, man. When you read the scripture, it said the man was supposed to be on top. But you won't know that because you let the woman rule, let the woman do what she want to do. And that's the reason why she is prospering through the earth today. And today I'm going to start off with a scripture to show you something about the woman that the Lord said out of his mouth, man. Yeah. So I bet we want that. We're going to show you something out the scripture about the woman, man. About uh, the woman, how she is on top right now in this society today in America. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 13. Come on, come. We're going to show you something out the scripture. Thus said the Lord. Come, come. Book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. A foolish woman is clamorous, man. The woman in today's society, especially at the blacks and the Spanish and Native American Indian women, y'all are very clamorous. Y'all are loud mouth and talk too much. And according to the scripture, you should shut your mouth and learn something. And the men of the law are going to show you something what you need to do. The, the reason why, when you run your mouth, everything fails because the women do not know nothing, man. She's very clamorous. And that's out the scripture of the Bible, the King James Version you have in the Christian church. And all through the Christian church, you women run your mouth all day. You even have women pastors. And that's a contradiction to the, to the Bible itself, man. Three. She is simple. She is simple. The woman in today's society is simple, man. You can look through all social media and see how simple our woman is. Showing her breasts. And she has a man at home. But she's showing the world her nakedness. When she has a husband. All through Facebook. They have, they have shows about it. They, they call it the slut walk. They have shows talking about how simple these women, women is, man. Keep going. And know of nothing. She know of nothing. You can't let that woman run the household. I know you sisters don't want to hear that. A man can't tell you what to do. But this is thus said the Lord. And if you don't listen to thus said the Lord, you hate God, man. God said the man was supposed to be above you. You're supposed to be suggestion to your man. But today's society, they teach you the woman can, can do what she wants. She's on top. She makes the money. A man can't tell her what to do because she makes the money. The money is her rulership. As long as she makes the most money, the man can't tell her nothing. She can put him out. 
She can do whatever she wants just because she makes the most money. That's wicked according to the Bible, man. Sound for the topic again? No, no. Book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 13. A foolish woman is clamoring. She's clamorous, man. And the moment you start talking about the black and Hispanic neighbor working any woman, she always said, you can't judge me. I have a personal relationship with the Lord, man. But we're going to see the difference between that personal relationship God you know and the God of the Bible. And what, and what, what the brother is saying is totally right. Read that scripture again. Now, God, book of Proverbs chapter 9, verse 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. A foolish woman is clamorous. What does clamorous mean? Running your mouth too much, man. Now, that, now, now there's good, that's good woman. There's an intelligent woman. And then there's foolish woman also. So it, it, it all depends on what, you, what you've been taught. What your parents have taught you. What, do you. what have you been learning, man? In today's world, in 2021, we have, been, we have been taught to be fools, man. And especially our woman. Years ago, there's certain things a woman would not do that they do today, man. They knew at, at, at first, their parents taught them in the 50s and 60s and 70s how to be a woman and how not to be a whore. How not to show the world your nakedness, man, and how to cover yourself up, and how to only let one man, letting one man, not Instagram, one man, not Snapchat, one man, not the whole damn Facebook, see your body. That's how it used to be. That's how it was. But now that, they're, but now that we're filled with the knowledge of 2021, our women are not respected anymore. Our women have been taught to devalue themselves, man. What is the worth of our, what is the worth of a woman today filled with the knowledge of 2021 in America? What is her worth now? It's less than a damn penny now, man. If you want to stop being a fool, stop listening to your Christian pastor. Stop following all stupid knowledge and zodiac sign uh, advice and palm readings on Instagram. If you want, if you want to stop being a fool, woman, be be smart about and, and get the wisdom from God. The wisdom is in the Bible, man. To fit, to, it says, to fear God is the beginning is the beginning of wisdom. Now, if a woman wants to be wise, get your knowledge from the Bible. Be modest, cover your behind. Let your husband see your body, not the whole world. The whole world is not to see your breast. The whole world is not to see your behind. Instagram and Facebook is not supposed to see your butt. Your husband sees your naked body, and that's it. Your body and your nakedness is for your man, not for the whole world. And then, and then you want some respect. How in the hell do you show your whole body to the world like a stripper or a prostitute and then want respect like a woman? You are an idiot. You are a fool. You are a dummy. The middle finger back to you, stupid. You could be the main one being a whore. You put your middle finger up because I'm telling you how to protect yourself and we love our woman. And you so dumb woman, you don't love yourself. That's why you put your middle finger up at us because you are a fool. Read it again. Oh, God. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 13 a foolish woman is clamoring. Only a fool, only a foolish dumb woman will put her middle finger up when I'm telling the truth about how to protect our woman and how to raise our daughters up and be protected from rape and molestation man you see what I'm saying? The, the, the average woman today is walking past here while we're reading God's words and throwing her middle finger up and trying to curse us out because now the world is full of dumb, foolish whores, man. And if you want to stop doing that, if you are black and Latino, man, if you're black, Latino, and American Indian, come and grab your fly, man, and learn some damn knowledge. Then you'll be wise. Go ahead. All right, get that priest of prophet of hand, man. We're going to keep it going. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect, this be punished Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper, told it, I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler War or even call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here
head rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fares in order